You know just what you do, you do to me Play my emotions like a pair of puppet strings Did it ever occur to you, my heart's more than a toy Please go easy on me, babe Send message after message, forward my call Next day you hear me back, like nothing happened at all Hey Slayers, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel, so happy to have you here. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a comparison between using a beauty sponge or beauty blender and a brush to do your makeup. So watch this video till the end, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so today I'm just going to be focusing on my face, so I'm not even going to do the eyebrows and eyeshadow or my lips, we're just going to be focusing on my face. On this side, I'm going to be using the makeup brush, and on this side, I'm going to to be using a beauty sponge or a beauty blender okay, so to start off we're going to start off with our primer i really have a clean and moisturized face always ensure before you do your makeup you have a clean and moisturized face then you go in with your primer as the first product so i'm using this illegal primer spray prep and hydrate face for makeup and i'm just going to spray this generously on my face let it dry on its own i use a primer spray because i'm oily and sensitive skin so yeah Normally, because I'm oily skinned, I always love to start off with concealer to do my makeup. But in today's video, I'm feeling a bit adventurous. Okay, so we're just going to do my makeup the normal way. We're going to start with foundation. So primer, then your natural skin tone foundation. I'm using this She Glam Complexion Pro Long Lasting Beta Ball Matte Foundation in the shade Truffle. Use your natural skin tone foundation. It's also a matte foundation because like I mentioned, I'm oily skinned. If you don't have oily skin, your dry skin, get a hydrating foundation. This is how it looks like. Absolutely love this foundation. It smells like chocolate as well. And I'm just going to pump it three times on my face. Remember, less is more when it comes to makeup. So don't apply a lot, especially as a beginner. So I'm just going to apply one pump over here, another pump over here, and another pump over here. Okay. Okay, so just like that we can start with my brush side like i said this is my brush side and this is my foundation brush i already did a video which is actually recently posted about the brushes that you use the tools the makeup tools that you use to do your makeup so this brush was one of it go and check out that video after watching this so i'm just going to dab my makeup in place just like i'm doing never rub your makeup always dab so one thing about a brush i highly recommend dry skin people to use a brush and full coverage products that just sits so well on their face because one thing about a brush it will give you full coverage so if you're looking for that extra full coverage always use a brush to do your makeup but i highly advise you do your makeup using a brush one if you're dry skin and if you're dry skin and a pro already at makeup okay so as a beginner always use a beauty blender which is our next step this is the damp beauty blender i'm sorry it's dirty i was using it to film a video i haven't yet washed my makeup brushes again but yeah this is it so i always like using this side for concealer this side for my contour and this side for my foundation so i'm just going to go in with this side um, to make your beauty blender damp because you always have to use it when it's damp Just soak it in a lot of water in running water then squeeze out all the water completely Then it will be damp so that means it's ready to use Also for your beauty blender or beauty sponge you always dab Okay for makeup you never rub whatever product it is whether it's concealer foundation powder You always dab in your makeup just dab it in or pat it in I'm being a little rough on my face, especially using the beauty sponge and blender, but just be soft, okay? Just like, remember to always get your ear and your neck area. Now for a beauty blender or a beauty sponge, I always advise this for beginners, highly recommend. Because one thing about a beauty blender, as you guys can see, it will always remove the excess of your makeup. So this is perfect to do your makeup if you're a beginner in makeup. And also if you have oily skin like me. This is the best. I hope you can already see the difference between this side and this side. I don't know whether that's visible on screen. But this side is has less coverage, as you guys can see. And this side has full coverage. Full coverage, less coverage. Brush, 
beauty blender then now the next step we're going to move on to our concealer and i'm using again the she glam 12 hour full coverage concealer in the shade honeycomb for concealer always make sure you use a two shades lighter than your natural skin tone concealer this is how my concealer looks like love this concealer as well this doesn't smell like chocolate but it is full coverage like they say it is highly pigmented absolutely love it and i'm just going to apply this in all the areas where i want highlighted again remember less is more a bit on my forehead area just like three stripes on my nose bridge area as well on my cupid's bow and on my chin area okay, we're going to start with my beauty blender for this side now one thing about the concealer always i use this side for my concealer like i said one thing about your concealer always dab it in place as well do not move it around your place uh, do not move it around your face do not be adventurous especially if you're a beginner because this will give you a lot of problems when it comes to like blending in and making your face all sink at the end of your makeup so just dab it and pat it into place dab it or pat it into place just like i'm doing just where you applied it okay just dab it a couple of times until it's blended out for your concealer, don't worry because it's two shades lighter than your natural skin tone. It's not supposed to like sink with your face and completely go away because it's two shades lighter than your natural skin tone. So okay, just like that. I hope you guys see how I'm blending. Just this area where I applied it. I'm not moving it to this side, this side, no. Just blend it over here. The only thing you can do, which I like doing. Just taking the excess to my eyelid area because either way even if you're doing eyeshadow or not doing eyeshadow we always have to prime our eyelids and that's by using concealer now one thing about me if you have watched a few of my makeup tutorials i always like to completely cover my nose with my concealer like i said when you started this video and there's a certain way that i like to do my makeup as an oily skin person i always like to start with my concealer not my foundation like i did today so when i start with concealer i completely cover my nose with the concealer because i don't apply foundation it's just concealer then contour that works out for me but today despite me applying foundation on my whole nose i'm still going to completely cover it again with concealer because that just works best for me that's how i normally do my nose i love how the sponge side is looking so far you guys can see that the makeup looks so beautiful already so now let me move on to this side of the brush so still using the same brush that i used to do my foundation i have other brushes that i can use to do this but i just choose not to let me just notify one brush so this is the side that i used to do the foundation so i'm just going to flip it and do my concealer on this side please make sure that when you're doing a different product when you're blending in a different product on your face you always use a clean tool or a different side so i'm using this side again the process is just the same dab into place or pat it into place just like i'm doing okay that is completely blended it looks even good you know just what you do you do to me play my emotions like a pair of puppet strings like i said a brush gives you full coverage because it takes off less of the makeup as you guys can see i hope you guys can already see that that difference can we see the difference already i can see the difference look at how full coverage this side is compared to this brush side with concealer sponge side with concealer so our next step will be to contour our face again i'm using the she glam sun scalp liquid contour in the shade camel suede this is the darkest shade that they have absolutely love this contour i only say that it also smells like chocolate and the packaging wow so this is how it looks like i'm just going to apply this on my cheekbone area on my jaw area and on my forehead did it ever occur to you my heart's more than a toy please go easy on me babe. send message after message I forgot to mention for your contour shade always use a two shades darker than your natural skin tone contour liquid contour or powder contour so again using my beauty sponge i use this side for concealer this side for foundation so now this side for the contour and again i'm just going to dab it in place 
Oh, what my call? Next day you hit me back like nothing happened at all. What about all the things you used to say to me? This ain't the way it's supposed to be. And you know, I wouldn't do that to you. Okay, so just like that, I'm done blending in my sponge area as you guys can see it's looking a little rough but we're going to fix it we're not yet done with the makeup so now quickly because this is liquid quickly before it dries i'm just going to blend in the brush side with the brush so this is what i'm using for the brush side to contour my face it's a side fluffy rounded side angle brush always make sure your contour brush is side angled and it goes like that that means it's side angled this is the work that it's meant for again i'm just going to dab my contour into place i love how the brush side is blending out the contour one thing about me when i do my makeup like i'll use a beauty sponge to do the foundation and the concealer but when it comes to the contour i'll always use a brush you guys can already see the difference why i use a brush with a brush it's much more precise to get those areas look at how beautifully it has blended out my jaw contour compared to this side this is why i don't use the beauty blender or beauty sponge to do my contour because it's big even if i use a small one it's still going to press on the contour in other unnecessary areas like this is giving me a lot of work to clean up compared to this so let me blend out my cheek area you know i want to treat you that way no i've been running okay so that's how my face is looking with the contour this is the sponge side and this is the brush side as you guys can see full coverage again less coverage the next step is to set our concealer so i'm going to be using again the she glam baked glow setting powder in the shade light brown set your concealer it's like you used a two shades lighter than your natural skin tone concealer always use a two shades lighter than your natural skin tone powder so let them sink this is how it looks like unboxed comes with a nice powder puff so for this powder puff area i'm just going to be using it for the sponge area for this side i'm just going to be using a brush to do that and again like i mentioned i'm oily skin so this is my part i like to apply a lot of powder just to mattify my face so i don't spare my powder i apply generously but as much as i'm applying it generously i'm also not overdoing it like don't be adventurous again don't move your powder to unnecessary areas for this brush side again i'm going to be using a brush i'm using a clean side angle brush again just to do that it's rounded and fluffy and i'm just going to get my powder again generously because i'm oily skinned and i'm just going to set it in those areas But remember, don't be adventurous. Can you guys see the difference between the brush side and the sponge side? The sponge side is definitely giving much more product when it comes to the powder. As you guys can see, it's really bright and more packed on compared to the brush side okay then once that's done i like to let it bake and set just soak into my skin like i said i'm oily skin so that's what i normally do if you're a dry skin person just apply a little with a the brush then brush it off because powder is not for you because powder is meant to mattify and your dry skin which means you're naturally matte so don't skip that step because it's important to do that step but just brush through with your powder okay but if you're oily skin like me let it sit and bake just like i'm doing so now what i like to do when it's sitting and baking i like to go back into my contour just to set my contour again when it comes to makeup and you're using a liquid product you always have to set it and to set it you set it with powder because you use a liquid concealer we've set it with powder and because you use a liquid contour we also have to set it with powder again we're going to be setting our contour with the two shades darker than our natural skin tone powder and i'm using this maybelline fit me powder in the shade 365 espresso it's a pressed powder it's meant for your face and i'm just going to go in with the contour brush and just generously get that powder because again i'm oily skin if you're not oily skin just brush through then i'm just going to set the contour on my brush side and when i'm doing this i'm also blending in the baking and set the baking or setting powder with the contour powder just to make my face sink it look like one then again to contour 
this side the sponge side i'm going to be using my damp sponge and i'm going to be using the same side this side that i used to con um, to blend in my contour and i'm just going to get the powder i just need to scrape it off because it's a pressed powder just scrape it off with the end of your brush with the tip of your brush just to make it a loose powder this is a little hack that i'm teaching you guys right now get that pressed powder generously again because i'm oily skin and generously also because the beauty blender beauty sponge will suck most of the powder as you guys can see it's applying well then i'm just going to go over my contour just like i did with the brush side just dabbing it into place okay so the face is coming together i hope you guys can see the vision trust the process guys okay guys so i'm done setting the contour as you guys can see so now it's time to dust off the excess baking or setting powder because my face has already set for a few minutes and to do that i like going in with a nice fluffy rounded powder brush so this is also doubles this also doubles as a face brush and this is just what i'm going to use to dust off the excess powder okay just like that you can't catch up oh love what i won't do oh you got me right now i feel like my face is matching i can't really tell much difference on which side is which side okay so the next step for me is to blush my face so i'm going to be using my she glam lots to lava eyeshadow palette and i'm just going to be using this orange color to blush my face because i like using pink and orange so when i'm going for a very subtle look i'll use the pink blush it will melt into my skin it will hardly be noticeable but when i want my blush to pop i never use red because i'm not that dark to use red um i use an orange shade which is this flaming lips shade and i'll just use a nice fluffy rounded powder brush and i'm just going to get the color orange generously onto the brush so i like making a smiley face i'm just going to start with my brush side i just like making a smiley face then applying the blush on the cheek area right here just over where i applied my cheek contour and brushing it upwards towards my eye area Okay, so just like that and i'm just going to go back in with some more until it's how i want it to be absolutely love it the non-blush side and the blush side like wow okay so for our sponge side i'm still going to be using the same color to do my blush but now i'm just going to be using a mini damp beauty blender for your beauty blender even when it comes to applying powder products always make sure that your beauty blender is damp okay so i'm just going to take the powder generously you guys can see how highly pigmented that is and i'm just going to apply it on my cheekbone area same process okay and i'm just dabbing it into blend now you guys can really tell the difference with the brush side it's minimal it's well blended in you can see that touch of color but with the sponge side oh it's popping wow i don't know what to see it's so hard to choose which side i like more okay so that's it for the blush with the brush side that's how the blush looks like and with the contour with the sponge set that's how the blush looks like this is a frontal of how it looks like you can clearly tell this side is more pigmented this side is like full glam and this side is like minimal in between glam okay guys to the last part now it's time to highlight our face my favorite part and i'm using this maybelline master chrome golden highlighter metallic highlighter this is how it looks like i always watch for this highlighter and for this brush set i'm just going to be using my fan brush this is what i normally use to highlight my whole face but we're just going to use it for the brush side today take a lot because we love highlight over here that face Wow, do you see how that highlight is popping?
and I've just applied this over my blush as you guys can see absolutely love how that is looking but at the temple I just like creating a V or a C area right here that's the only place that I highlight so don't bring it all the way down here it doesn't look good you just want to turn boom and the highlight can be seen so as you guys can see highlight no highlight highlight no highlight okay okay so for this sponge area again i'm going to be using my damp mini beauty blender or beauty sponge the same one that we used to apply the blush as you guys can see there is the blush but now i'm just going to use this side of the tip the clean side to apply my highlighter i'm just going to go directly for it remember the sponge is giving us a lot of coverage when it comes to applying this powdered products there is the highlight can't really be seen and i'm just going to create that v just dab it in place wow i wasn't even looking at myself you guys can see how much that is that's how it's looking like and that's the side of the brush so normally like i said i'll always use the brush to do my blush and my highlight as you guys can see it sits so beautifully this is giving a very natural looking face like even with the contour the jubon contour you guys can see like this is a different person's face like who is this and who is this like mm, i'm not feeling this side i don't know about you guys but this side it's just not giving this side is just not giving for me it's too much i look like a clown it look like it looks okay but there's much more blending that needs to be done it looks like i'm just a beginner and i've applied a lot and i haven't blended it out well and this side is giving professional you know we can see the blush you can see the highlight you can see yes there's a reverse contour contour but it's all sitting so beautifully and so well so wow i'm actually surprised because i was expecting this side to be this side like i was expecting this this is how the brush side will look because it equals full coverage and i was expecting this is how the sponge side will look because it's supposed to take away your excess makeup but the sponge side is giving you excess makeup the brush side which is supposed to give you full coverage makeup is giving you minimal but just enough it's giving you the perfect amount of makeup so i'm actually really shocked are you shocked like me guys this side nah this side absolutely i'm really impressed with this brush side i really love how my face has turned out i really love how it's looking i hope you guys do too um comment down below what is your favorite side is it the sponge side or is it the brush side brush side or sponge side i'm looking forward to seeing and viewing your comments also give this video a thumbs up i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i hope you guys learned something follow me on all my social media pages for this and more beauty tutorials and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't i'm on the road to 1000 subscribers and your one subscription matters so if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to my channel please 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 subscribe to my channel it's totally completely free and that's it for today's slayers i'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.